fucking wrong pop. Wrong pop. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Sup? I'm Gimmo Tyler, creator of Uday's Dough, the way of unarmed defense against zombies. Uh, this is my cousin here, Terry Taylor. Uh, also of the Taylor clan, zombie wranglers for going on six generations. Um, basically, Terry uh, thought it would be a good idea if we made some videos for uh, the YouTube and interwebs. And uh, so here we are. Uh, today we're going to talk about the basic physical philosophy of Udaz Do, which is BASH. Beeline attacks to stay human. Whereas fighting a human opponent, you might be thinking, self-defense, we want to get you in the mindset of self-preservation. Self-defense implies that we're going to be sticking around to win a fight. And the way you win a fight against a human is by looking for attacks which uh, give us maximum violent force against soft targets. So, for instance, you know, jabbing out the eyes, you know, going for that nose break, you know, maybe fish hook in the mouth. Maybe we're going to look for an elbow or a punch to the throat or something like that. Uppercut to the groin, you know, things like that, of that nature. All that don't work against zombie. Zombie doesn't give a shit about kicking him in the balls. Zombie doesn't give a shit about you hooking his mouth. And all that's going to happen you hook his mouth, well, it might be a good point of leverage. You might very well get yourself infected. Even with just a hook to the mouth. I cut my knuckles on those teeth. Good night, Nancy. Know what I'm saying? Okay. So, with a zombie, with bash attacks, beeline tanks stay human. Our philosophy is A, self-preservation, finding a quickest way to escape the situation, and finding points that are direct and give us maximum leverage against safe, dry targets. So, the chest, we take an angle to the shoulder, something like that. Does that make sense? Okay. So today, we're going to be working what we call the bash kick. Now other karate, do, jiu, jitsu, ninja, crow, kung fu, kung pao, chicken, whatever systems have different names. You might have heard you know, front kick, front side kick, front set kick, front groin gut kick. I don't know. I don't know. We're just calling it bash kick, okay? The Muay Thai fighters, they call it a teep, whatever that means, okay? So uh, the goal here is going to be, again, this is a great attack to use in that Shambler's closing in, nice long range. Don't have to endanger all this easily cut knuckles and fingers, face. Usually you'll pants on. I always wear my boots. So when that Shambler's coming in nice and slow, be Sham for me, Terry. It's just, boom, planting that back foot. It could be this foot as well. Come on in. Boom. Planting hard on whatever the foot is staying on the ground, lifting your opposite knee up as high as it'll go, and then looking for that obtuse angle with the legs. Boom! Planting that foot right in his chest and stomping through like you're kicking down a door. Just moving forward momentum, locomotion like a train. Once again, plant that foot. Boom! And then escape. Make sense? One more time, nice and slow. Boom! Escape. Beeline tag, stay human. Beeline attack, boom, stay human. Exit the area, find a safe spot, get some armament proper apparel, come back, clean up the garbage. Okay, so uh, Terry, you want to put some gear on? Sure thing. Good. We're going to do a little more <coughs> live speed. No worse, uh, no, no worth in training slower than you're going to go in life. Now, shamblers don't move real quick. Zed's, you know, rigor mortis and rot and uh, lack of coordination and higher motor function will result in a pretty slow moving, uncoordinated attacker. But uh, if you don't get used to putting your full body weight behind them kicks, you know, ain't gonna do you no good. Now it's important, come on in Terry, to wear uh, protective gear like Terry's got on here now uh, because you do want your partner to stay okay, stay human, stay alive, stay healthy. So he can be a zombie for you tomorrow and the next day, and you can be a zombie for him, right? So we can train hard. So gear, all times, protect yourself, okay? Here we go. We're going to go slow a couple more times. Well, that shambler coming in. Uh, Boom! Planting that foot, knee high, driving through. One more time. Uh, Planting that foot, knee high, foot through. Boom! Obtuse angle. Escape the area. Okay. All right, we're going to go full speed. Oh, notice the moan as well. Come on in more time, Terry. Uh, Boom! When he's acting like that zombie, you're going to want that moan to get in your training too. Psychologically, very important to get used to, okay? It can really grate on your nerves eventually. We don't want it to be an issue when shit goes down for real, okay? One more time. 
Nice slow. Boom! Boom! Escape the area. All right. Here you go, Terry. You ready for this? Yeah. Full speed, full power. Zombie coming in on me. Come on, Terry. Uh, Boom! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, okay. You okay? Y'all ready for this? Walk it off, man. Should have worn like a, like a pillow or something. Might have been useful.